chance to rap like uh, We need to make a comparison Oh shit that's embarrassing uh, They said beware of the snakes in the grass But I'd rather be wearing them uh, Everyone knows if I say this fast This shit ain't no narrative Go against me and they play like they scared of one Even to be on the fucking American uh, all right yo what's good y'all welcome back to another video and today's video as y'all can tell by the title i'm going to be doing is one sword style skill and whew, uh if you guys can't tell i sound really happy like i'm not trying to be funny or anything i sound really happy and you guys are going to be seeing old gameplay in the background because obviously doing a voiceover and stuff and i'm going to be using Frash heads gameplay in the background his video uh one sword style and suke video i'm going to link that in the description down below but credit to him of course and i did ask him be uh to use the footage that you guys are going to see because i'm going to be using it mainly as a reference so that you guys can get an idea of one sword style and just overall how it is because i'm not going to go through the trouble just to like use one sword style even though it would be cool it's just like it would be so toxic and uh, it's just like yeah i don't i'm just i'm just trying to chill and i don't want to do it like i'm not trying to do too much but yeah so if you guys are in my discord you guys probably know that i am really happy and i kind of sent like a little long announcement and kind of saw like a paragraph announcement or whatever but pretty much if you guys don't know who Corey x kenshin is if you do the shogun himself the chosen uh, you guys can tell that I'm really hyped and happy because Corey announced that he is not retiring and yeah um, I am just super happy and this fire that I had within me just lit back up and yeah um, you guys if you guys are in the discord you saw what I said but if not go check out my discord go join it link is in the description but um, yeah uh, I'm gonna save like my little sentimental talk for that in the future but anyways um, sorry for kind of getting off topic I'm gonna try and keep these points points very vague and just try not to like repeat any words or whatever the only reason why i repeat words is because if i explain it once and somebody doesn't understand it i'll just kind of keep talking about it so that you guys or for those of you who don't have like a clear idea of what i'm trying to talk about i repeat what i say a couple times in like a different like way like i'll say the same thing but in like a different um like i'll just say it differently so that you guys can get a better idea and a better understanding if you didn't get it the first time but yeah so it is one source style skill so there are a lot of things to say about once they're sought to be honest i'm gonna try and like i said keep these points really simple and just try not to like kind of go on this rant and just keep them simple and straight on the point and i'm pulling up the trailer right now just so i can look at the uh once or style moose set and stuff so i don't like have to try and like force my brain to remember it so the first move is 36 caliber phoenix is a pretty much like pretty decent move is really good for like kind of throwing down the range attack it has a low cooldown i'm pretty sure it takes up low stamina as well and it's really just overall a well-rounded move kind of good for distance and really good chip damage to be honest and it's it does like 90 or something if you have like 500 in the sword master or whatever but it really does a lot of damage and it's really good uh rapid slash we all know how rapid slash is we we don't talk about it <laughs> Uh, Raging Serpent is a move you all are familiar with from the Head Guardian as Skype, <laughs> as well as Shishi Sun Sun. And Dragon Blaze is a pretty good move that I, to be honest, I don't see many once or so users use. I, I mean, I kind of take that back. They really throw it out there. It's really like it packs a punch. It does a lot of damage and it does a pretty decent amount of burn damage. So you're going to be taking burn damage for a little bit. But overall, it is, it's not life threatening if you get hit with Dragon Blaze. Uh, Shishi Sun Sun does a a lot of damage does like 120 or so depending on how much you have but it does like over 100 if you have like i think 300 or 400 in the sword mastery it's really good raging serpent not really used as much the only times it's used like every so often or to try and catch your opponent off guard from what i've seen or how i would use it but raging serpent is kind of something that's not easy to block it's kind of rng to be honest depending on how the opponents hit you because i think they hit you like they attack you from behind or whatever you can block it if you do time it right and it's easily noticeable to see when a person is like charging it up because they do like a whole animation so yeah rapid slash uh rapid slash is pretty self-explanatory it's a super broken move that you can literally get free m1s off of it's like a more improved version of party table kick horse i just want to point that out you can m1 after rapid slash it's a confirm i just want to point that out because everyone's saying nerf party table and we got we got other frenzies that are able to do the same thing <coughs> gravity frenzy <coughs> rapid slash but yeah and then 36 caliber phoenix uh that move is pretty self-explanatory but it's 
pretty it's pretty good um the moveset is honestly it's a lot better than i thought it was because i honestly thought that it had like an extra move that was pretty useless but yeah one star style actually has a pretty decent moveset it's nothing too crazy but it's also nothing like too bad there's really nothing to say though that in my opinion really makes one star style skillful because in my opinion you can't really be effective with one star style and make it good without having high m1 damage and having just like a full on one star style build having a full on one star style build is like you are you have like 500 in the sword master or whatever you do like 50 m1 damage everything is so like powerful literally in the moveset and yeah it's just the only things that i can really say that are skillful about one star style is the fact that you have no gepo and so the movement is going to kind of be really difficult for you and landing combos is going to be a lot more difficult but a lot of the times um if you are a one star style user one thing that you should really focus on is practicing your perfect blocks because your perfect blocks are going to save you i mean the fact is is that if you put it in a perspective like this the reason why i say one star style isn't skillful isn't because of the fact that like i don't know it's kind of like weird to say but like just put it in a perspective like this a pure one source style user has like 500 in the sword mastery or whatever you know just does like an insane amount of m1 damage take someone with 1k health for example right and the person the one source style user is doing 50 m1 damage okay so they're doing 50 m1 damage and literally all they have to do is repeat that what four or five times and literally the person is dead like how how is that fun literally landing four or five m1 combos hold on you know what let me i want to make sure that i'm not dumb 250 times four okay so yeah four four m1 combos literally and the person is dead four m1 combos just think about that literally all they have to do is m1 you four times and you're dead like how is that skill like literally put it in perspective like that and it's like okay yeah you kind of make sense chase you kind of make sense but yeah i i, I mean i don't know because it's like i don't want to like rant on about it because i actually want to like kind of create a simple and good discussion but those are like really the main points with one source style the fact is two rapid slash is so broken it literally does at least like 300 400 health depending on how much you have in the sword mastery or whatever and literally it attacks like it hits like 36 times or whatever like over 30 times i think or whatever it hits a lot of times and it does a lot of damage and you can m1 after it too but it's literally broken and uh i mean there's really nothing else to say to be honest the shishi song song is really good for damage as well you can block it but it like every time you catch your opponent off guard it's gonna hurt a lot because it's gonna do at least like 100 or 120 damage or whatever and overall it's just like once or so in my opinion is not skillful you can argue that it is skillful but overall four m1 combos and the person is dead that's not skill at all because literally it's it's not hard to m1 with swords as well let me know what you guys would say if one source style is skill or if it isn't skill if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and if you guys have any video suggestions or ideas you would like to see make sure to comment them down below if you guys are new to the channel and you're planning on watching my content or you're an active viewer and you're not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe it is free you can always change your mind i also have a discord server link will be in the description as well as channel memberships if you guys are interested in part of the community more just be more involved and and you want to also support me checking out my channel memberships and considering buying it would really help me out i mean watching my videos really does help me out leaving a like and commenting doing any of those things as well as subscribing everything helps me out but the channel memberships also really do help me out so if you guys are interested in that you know make sure to check it out and uh yeah it's been chase today guys i'm out